Beliefs are what divide people. Doubt unites them. My sources for my uh, speech are quotationspage.com, brainyquote.com, quoteland.com, globalsecurity.org slash military, wikipedia.com, associatedcontent.com, Google Images, and an interview by gra my grandma, Patsy Krebs. Hi, my name is Tyler Krebs, and my speech is over the three beliefs that help me ma make who I am tomorrow. My belief in God, why I support the military, and why I believe family is important. A man must not swallow more beliefs than he can digest. I believe this is true because if you have too many beliefs, you'll get lost up in, in life. You should just have one belief that you should always stick to, and that main one should be your belief in God. Religion is a big part in my family because we, every, we all go to church. My family has made me go to church ever since I was little. And my belief in God has helped me through a lot of hard times. This past year, a few of our family friends have passed away. And we didn't have a whole lot of choice. Like We were asking why this happened. But God has helped us through this because He has helped everyone through people that were there for us and all the other friends. A friend told me once that he felt like that he was being called by God to go into the pasture, to become a pastor. And some people say that God doesn't call you to, be, to do something, but, and also that he doesn't care. But if that's true, then why did he send his only son to die for us, as said in John 3.16? For God so loved the world that he gave his only son to die for us, so that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. God cares about us. Some people think that he doesn't, but he does. And also there are some people that support our country and will die for our country. And this is also why I support the military, because without them, we wouldn't have the freedoms of speech. We probably wouldn't even have the speech class right now. Since we went to war in Iraq, we have lost some 4,000 American soldiers that died for us just to protect our rights. When we started this war in 9-11, Americans were glad that we went to war. But now, Americans are saying, why are we sending troops over there? But have they forgotten the 2,000 civilians that died that day? It is the soldier, not the reporter, who has given us the freedom of the press. It is the soldier, not the poet, who has given us the freedom of speech. I, th I believe this is true because without them, we wouldn't have our rights that we have today. Like in Pearl Harbor, the unprovoked attack on a uh, battleship way and some civilians and military leaders that lost their lives. If they would have just given up, we wouldn't have the rights we have today. My last one, the one I believe in most, is family. The reason why is because no matter what, family is always there for you. A good example is before Christmas, my cousin died in a tragic car wreck and left our family devastated. One thing that helped us through was just that knowing that he was gone to a better place. Another time when my grandparents always called me to come and do something, I ended up going down there for one thing and doing another. My grandma always says, thanks Tyler, you're a big help. And no matter what, family sticks together. I like to close my speech by saying, just believe in what you believe. If you believe in too many things, you'll get lost. 